Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first video post UUMC release. So UMC is out and I would like to thank you all for amazing support. The release stream was really great. I really enjoyed it and you know uh, we are here. The mod is out. It obviously has a lot of bugs which I am sorry about but you know time pressure is uh, unforgiving and that's why I released the UUMC as a beta version and now in the 1.0 version I will finish all the stuff that uh, so far aren't finished and also balance all things and you know just basically finish it and that's why we are here uh, to take a look on some changes I already made to take a look on some new stuff and let's get right into it first we will take a look and talk about the internal relations and how I would like to balance it and how I already did first of all you can see that we can now appease the UGF that allows player to increase his relations with the unaligned general factions which are most of the time the most problematic there are some more changes here the relation increase you get through these decisions is now dependent on your relations currently with a certain member. As you can see here, our relations with Albert Speer is plus 30 and through this decision we will get up to 4 increase. But relations with Göring are minus 70, therefore we will get up to 10 increase in relations while completing this decision. It's also not written here, but it's not between 1 and 10, it's between 4 and 10. Furthermore, penalties you get from their own actions are now lowered. For example, this decision previously decreased relations with Spear by minus 6 and now it's by minus 4. Its daily political power cost is also lowered. I have also increased relations you get from certain focuses and decisions. This for example previously improved relations with UGF by 25, now it's by 40. The goal is to make this mechanic well you know important at the start as well but really it shouldn't be a nuisance. And when correctly managed this should bite you only at uh, the late game. Now moving forward to the Welphausstadt Germania focus. This focus and mainly its decisions were previously unfinished and well, now they are finished. So let's take a look. When completing the focus you get this event which tells you about uh, the goals of Germania construction and a bit of history behind it. And then it unlocks these decisions. Through them you have to complete uh, mandatory projects and voluntary projects. Decisions also tells you about the history of that uh, building or construction you will construct and they take a lot of resources and uh, civilian factories. However, if finished you will get a powerful national spirit and also increase in relations with uh, all the uh, powerful members. You can also push back the finalization date or bring it closer if you are already finished and thus completing the uh, construction mission ahead of time. And now finally moving on to the thing that took me the most of the time, we will take a look on reward the RK leaders. Upon establishing Rake's Commissariat you will be greeted with event similar to this one in which you will choose the leader of that certain Reichskommissariat. The event will tell you about that certain Reichskommissariat and four or three candidates you can choose. Each candidate has different traits, obviously. But he also gains some other bonuses. So for example here, Chicken Dance gains core on four more states, von Mende gained some uh, additional factories, Plieger gained some more divisions, 
and Magla Kelitz gains core on all the states. And also some nice 500 political power bonus for, for that uh, Reichskommissariat. So you choose the best one, right? Well, it's not that simple. You see, uh, every candidate will basically have its own, uh, well, personality, I guess. And that will be especially important during the elections. And I mean the big Reich elections when Hitler dies. So, for example, should the civil war break out after the elections, Reichskommissariat Kausasus will join Speer should it be ruled by Schikendanz. Or it could even join Rosenberg should the elections go, well, really unpredictable way, I would say. So, no. Not every one of the potential leaders has only one uh, member or person he would support. Some might not even support anyone and remain neutral or get cooped by uh, SS or even, uh, well, declare war on the whole Reich. So really, choosing the native person as a leader might be a good temporary solution, but it will hunt you in the long run. And remember that uh, every Reichskommissariat is different. There are different potential leaders and they are really different from each other. So should the war in the Reich broke out, you can expect some crazy things happening in the Reichskommissariats. And speaking about the elections, we obviously have the big three, which are the most potential candidates for the next Führer. But if you choose the right um, leaders for multiple Reichskommissariats, it could lead to, for example, Rosenberg or even Bormann rising up and uh, seeking to become the next Führer. So the leader decision is uh, really important. But be also prepared that you can't influence everything all the time and in every occasion. Here is a, just a quick showcase of uh, every potential RK leader and their traits and also uh, who they will support, what will they do in the civil war. Yeah, it's, um, you know, a lot of traits, a lot of descriptions. Yeah, it took some time. <laughs> But that's also why I will post on my Discord how you can help me with, uh, well, the trades, obviously. But for now, I will showcase you two more interesting, uh, well, potential leaders of the RK. One being Shorner, who will support anyone who you will choose as successor, because he was really loyal to Hitler. And second one being Kube, who was uh, basically hated amongst, whoops, amongst the higher NSDAP circles and will get cooped by SS during the civil war. But you know, more of elections in the next video. And that will be all for today. Update 1.0 is coming at the end of the month. I'm working hardly to make it as best as possible fixing all the books, you know, you report, so thank you for that as well. And we have also reached 500 subscribers, so leave a comment under the video and I will choose three of you who will receive early access. Also, if you want to support me, uh, be sure to visit uh, UMC Patreon or my Patreon. Okay. <laughs> See ya next time. Bye.